Good day friends, Paul here with an Android tip. I've been getting a lot of comments on several of my Android videos about people having a hard time with miscellaneous storage junk that's taking up. Okay, now depending on your phone, today most often guys you are going to have a device maintenance feature under settings that can clean up all the garbage one-stop shop. Some of you don't have that device maintenance feature. If you've got an older phone like the one we're looking at right here, that's why I'm going to use this for an example. This doesn't have that. So you can see the storage that's available. Then you've got that miscellaneous 3.9 gigabytes. Well, I'll tell you guys right now that the operating system is taking up probably almost four gigabytes. But let's check it out. You know, you can well, first you can you know you can delete all this stuff. I've done videos on all this before, deleting everything else. But the main question I'm getting is the miscellaneous. So the system data, you see that you cannot delete that, guys. That's the operating system. It's what's used to run this thing. And yeah, it takes up a lot of space. I mean, think of the power that these phones ha have. Well, anyway, besides that, you've got other miscellaneous files, and this is what we want to get at. If things aren't squaring up with your system data and you think it's eating up too much in your internal memory it's because you've got other junk from associated apps and you can delete that stuff right from um, this screen right here you know like if I want to delete stuff in voice recorder I could delete that right now I don't want to want to though because I don't know what files are in there 3m digital library I mean I can delete that I don't I don't think I use that cardboard app i'm not using that anymore i mean the first line of defense guys is always to uninstall your apps i keep saying that in previous videos i don't know if some people do that they say i have one app and it's taking up all my internal storage well then you've got a problem with one or more associated apps or things running in the background like facebook is really bad for that from what i've read i'm not a facebook user clean up your facebook cache or files if that applies to you um so in, an, in any typical app, like let's just look up Salient Eye here for a second. You're going to have, well, you see no files in there. And then there's a minuscule file here, five bytes um, of data. But the point is clean up, delete any of those files, folders that and contents within that you can possibly do. And that's going to fix the problem. You can always do a factory reset, people, if they're just... You have no idea how to get rid of anything more and it's cleaned up as much as possible and something's just not right. Consider doing a factory reset for your phone. Other people seem to get really afraid of that and say, oh no, you can't do factory reset. It wipes out everything. That's true to a point. It wipes out your apps. It wipes out the apps that you've put on the phone, but it doesn't wipe out the files on your SD card, you know, with your videos, pictures, etc. Back when the Android systems didn't seem to be, I don't know, as stable or something, and things would get wonky. And I remember doing a factory reset on these older phones, like this phone you're looking at is an LG from a couple of years ago now, maybe more like three or four years ago. But the newer phones are going to have that device maintenance feature under settings. I mean, you can get into a decent phone, friends, for cheap, on the order of 30 50 bucks easily get into a newer Android operating system refurb phone that's going to have the features. Post your comments below. Thanks for tuning in.